Well, who's the barbecue champion of Ponty Pandy? Oh, it's so difficult to decide. I'm still hungry. Maybe I should eat a bit more. Then I'd really know which one tasted best. And we'd like some too. We're starving. Oh, no worries, Bronwyn. I can cook you up some king prawns faster than Trevor can cook his sausages. We'll see about that. Just turn up the gas and I can cook even faster. Wow. That's very clever. It's not that clever. All I have to do is put on some more charcoal and I can cook faster too. No problem for me. I just turn up my gas to the max. I'll just put all the charcoal on in one go. Then I'll really be cooking. I'll show you who's the barbecue champion of Ponty Pandy. Uh, mate, I think you might have overdone it. Huh? Oh! Oh, no! Oh! Start back, Norman! Oh, we'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh, Tre Trevor Evans Barbecue has set fire to a tree. There's a barbecue place at the picnic area. I hope you are all paying attention in this morning's lesson. Well, Elvis, it looks like you'll be eating those sausages sooner than you thought. I just hope there's some left. I think we're going to need two hoses for this one, Penny. OK, Sam. OK, Elvis, turn on the water. <gasps> oh, Sam, look, there's one of those gas canisters. It might explode. Well spotted, Elvis. Keep everyone at a safe distance while we get the blaze under control. Right you are, Sam. Everyone back, please. Penny, keep spraying the gas canister to keep it cool while I put out the rest of the fire. Don't worry, Sam. I'm on it. There. All out. Here's Sam. Quick, Sam! The wheel needs help! Go on, Penny, you better get down there. Lead on, Mandy. Oh, I hope the wheel is all right. Are you sure it's not a shark? Yes, it's a wheel. And wheels are gentle creatures, Norman. Sam? How are we going to get it back into the sea? High tide is hours away. Oh, I know. We can roll it in. It's too heavy, Norman. And it might get hurt, silly. It will be OK, won't it, Sam? Have I ever let you down, Mandy? No. We're going to need Neptune, Penny. OK, Sam. Hello, Tom. Pretend you are putting out a big fire. Uh, I mean a really big one. Oh, ah, uh, like this? Could you maybe put a bit more oomph into it? Get out, fire! Get out! <laughs> That's it. Uh, what about using the fire axe next? I can slide down the pole if you'd like. <laughs> <gasps> Excellent. Good idea. Oh, <laughs> Soon be back where you belong. It's time now, Mandy.
Okay, release the harness. Bye bye, little wheel. Thanks, Tom. You think it'll be all right, Sam? It will be now it's where it belongs. Sam, uh, before we go down, uh, could I just finish putting up my aerial? Let me through. Give the officer some space here. Norman Price. <laughs> I might have known. Hello, station officer Steele. Please help my boy. Do you think you can get him free? Step back over there and give me some room, please. Reminds me of a boy who once got his head stuck in a farm gate. Except he was jammed in more like this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Help me. No, I'm stuck. Yes, pull me out. Oh, oh, ah, no. Don't touch that, sir. It's his ears, you see. They're even bigger than mine. Oh, this is ridiculous. We need proper help. It's been a bad, bad day Ooh. from the moment I awoke. Ooh. I lost my hat, tripped over my cat, and then my leg got broke. What? Station Officer Steele has got his head stuck in the railings too? But, but Sam and Penny aren't back yet. I'm the only one here. I can't do anything. Or can I? Someone's in trouble. I've got to do something. <laughs> Nina, 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 Nina. <gasps> Look! It's Elvis! Crittington? Reporting for duty, ready and able. Oh, goodness! No problem. I'll soon have you out. Trevor, get me the pneumatic pump. It's in the back of Venus. Oh, OK, Elvis. Um, women and children first. Oh, my little angel. You are safe. <laughs> now I need you to free me from my mom. Oh, I say. Ah, that's the ticket. Good man. Um, let's uh, keep this to ourselves, eh, Gridlington? Yeah. Righty ho, Station Officer Steele. Lion's trapped in a flooded basement, and Mike's in there with him. Well, get me out of here, and we'll go and rescue him. Penny's right. I can't move it either. I could always use the axe. No, no, no. Uh, don't worry about me. Go and rescue Mike. The public always comes first. Well, if you're sure, sir. Come on, then. Let's go. Good luck. I hope Mike's OK. I need him to sing harmony with me. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm sure he'll be as good as ever. Follow me. Right. He's in here, is he? OK, Mike, I need you to stand back. I'm going to break the door down with my axe. R right you are, Sam. Jump in here, Lion. It'll keep you dry. Shouldn't you shut off the water? I'll get the pump ready. One thing at a time. The first thing we need to do is make sure Mike is safe. Mike! 
Are you a safe distance back yet? Uh, yes, Sam. Grab my arm, Mike. Well done, Sam. Oh, Lion is safe. You did stay very calm. And you did one thing at a time. Oh, I wish I'd done that. I wouldn't have got into such a mess. Don't worry. At least you're safe. Yes. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Come on, Mike. Let's go and do our duet. Uh, wait a minute, Elvis. One thing at a time, remember? Yes. I I'll shut the water off at the mains. Elvis, can you help me get the pump to pump out all this water? And I'll go and get old Mrs Steele out of the <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> then we can all meet at the quayside for Elvis and Mike's big number. Splish, splash, I'm having a wash. Splash, splish, feel like a fish. Splish, splash, I'll be out in a flash. We're doing the splish, splash, you mean splish, splash, splash. <laughs> oh, what a beauty, eh? And look at the enormous hole she left. Are you going to dig the compost over, Dad? Only Sam did say. Not now, Mandy, I'm too busy. It's time for the flower and vegetable show to begin. Sorry, Mrs. Tomato, but I don't think you'll win first prize now. Afternoon, everyone. Yes. Where's my tomato plant, Elvis? Ah, well, I've, uh, I've, I've put her in the shade so she doesn't dry up, sir. Ooh, smart thinking, Cridlington. Hello, everyone. Where do we put our mustard and cress, Mike? Over here, please, Bronwyn. When is Sam going to do the jet gen? He's just rolling up the hoses at the fire station, but he'll be along very soon. <clears throat> OK, gather round, everyone. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome you all to my flower <gasps> and vegetable show. <laughs> Thank you. I've spent a lot of time planning this event, and I'm proud to say... Dad! Dad! The compost heap! Don't interrupt, Mandy. Uh, I'm proud to say that all my hard work... Dad! I don't believe it! Oh, call Fireman Sam! <sighs> A compost heap fire of the floods. It's just you and me, Sam. The others have gone to the flower and vegetable show. That's where we're going, too. Everyone, leave it to the professionals. Sam and Penny are on their way. Stop that now! Set off the flare, Norman. It's that I don't want to. Like I don't care if you think I'm uncool. Help! Oh, listen! Someone's shouting. Help! Help! I'm stuck. It's coming from the cliffs. Come on! Help! Help! Up here! Oh, it's Penny! Oh, thank goodness you're here! I'm stuck. Someone will have to run and get help. Wait a minute. What's that you're holding? Oh, it's a flare. What? You 
You shouldn't be playing with that. We found it. I was going to to give it to Fireman Sam. Good girl. But right now, it's just what I need. Mandy, could you throw it up to me? Me? Oh, all right. Brilliant throw, Mandy. Wow! Dancing didgeridoos. Where, oh, where is that... Flare! Oh, it came from the cliffs. i better call Fireman Sam. Oh, an emergency flare from the cliffs! has sighted an emergency flare, Sam. Somebody must be in trouble on the cliffs. Tom will meet you there in the chopper. Oh, thank goodness, there's Tom. Here's Fireman Sam! You have to help her! Don't worry, Mandy. We'll save her. Tom, lower the double harness. No worry, Sam. Coming right up. I'll, I'll be down. OK, Tom. Take it up. Slowly now. children haven't returned from their school trip. Action station! Maybe we should call Tom Thomas, sir. I was just about to suggest that, Sam. Jupiter calling Tom Thomas. Go ahead, Sam. If you're in the air, Tom, can you keep a lookout for Trevor Evans' bus? Roddy ho, Sam. Tom Thomas calling Fireman Sam. Come in, Sam. Receiving you loud and clear, Tom. I've located the bus, Sam. Up on the Valley Pass. Oh, looks like Trevor skidded off the road and got stuck. It's really foggy down there. Thanks, Tom. We're on our way. I hope everyone stayed on the bus, Elvis. You could easily get lost out there. Yeah, you wouldn't catch me wandering about out there in the day, let alone at night. Oh, that sounds like Tom's helicopter. Here, I'm over here. Please. Oh, he doesn't realise I'm lost. Norman? Is that you mucking about? Is everyone OK? Oh, Sam! I've never been so purified! OK. Uh, let's get you back on the road. Um, where's Trevor? He went for help. Such bravery. He left the bus. I'll see if I can reach him. There's no signal. Trevor could be anywhere out there. Elvis, could you attach the tow rope to the bus while I call Tom? right oh, Sam! Tom? It's Sam. Trevor Evans is out here somewhere. We're going to need your help to find him. No worries, Sam. But I'm going to need someone up here with me. You can count on me, Tom. OK, Sam. We're ready. Oh, 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 oh we're free. Shame we haven't got 
got a driver! <laughs> <laughs> 